I'm going to show you how to unlock your Roblox FPS to get hundreds of FPS rather than the cap of 60. Recently, FPS Unlocker keeps getting detected as a virus, and even if you disable your antivirus, it is still buggy. So with this tutorial, I will show you how to unlock your FPS again without even downloading anything. Okay, so here we are on my desktop, and first of all, you got to go down to the Windows button in the corner. So click the button, and you should be able to search if you type in letters, so we're going to search for Roblox. Now, you may see things, you may see if you've installed Roblox FPS Unlocker before you'll be here, you may see Roblox Studio, but the main thing you want to focus on is this, which is Roblox Player. So you need to right click this and click Open File Location. Once you do that, you'll appear here and you'll see Roblox Player and Roblox Studio. So all you have to do is right click and click Open File Location. Once you do that, you'll be taken over to here and it will look a bit like this. So what you're going to want to do here is you're going to want to make a new folder so you need to right click click new and click folder now this folder needs to be called client settings just like this exactly it'll be in the description as well so you can just copy paste it once you've made this folder you need to double click to open it and you'll see the folder is empty so now we need to go to right click new and go down to text document once you're on text document you will need to name it client app settings once you've done this you can double click it to open it and you'll have a new blank document but basically what you need to do is you need to right click and paste it after you've copied it from the description and you'll have it here and this is the fps cap that you choose so for me i chose 240 because my monitor goes to 240 fps but you can set this to whatever you want uh, for example you could just set it to 10,000 and you would be able to get 10,000 fps as maximum so I'm just going to set this to 240 and then you go to file and you click save once you've done this you can just close the notepad and now there's one more step we need to do now if you're on Windows 11 you can right click to go to properties and show file name extensions but if you're on windows 10 you can just do it here so you need to have this ticked and this ticked now once you've done that you need to go back to this file you need to right click and you need to click rename down here now with this we can just type in dot json just like this and you click enter it'll come up if you change a file name extension this file might become unusable are you sure you want to change it just click yes and it will work so now it should be working so let's go into a game and see if it works all right so now we're in a game on roblox and if we do shift f5 on our keyboard we should be able to see up here our fps which i'm getting 240 so that means it's working now if it isn't working for you and you have any issues or problems you can ask in the comments and somebody will answer or i'll probably answer and if the video did end up working for you then make sure to like and subscribe it just helps me a lot anyway thank you for watching goodbye